Welcome to All Farm. Cabbage is one of our three largest items we harvest a week, so it's really exciting to, to get some automation going in the field. First time I saw it was in Denmark. We were pretty, pretty excited. It was good that we went over there during the fabrication process to make some little tweaks and really make this machine applicable to the Taylor Farms food service harvest. So when the machine enters a bed, it has revolving torpedoes on the front of the machine, which lifts the cabbage out of the soil and guides it into a cutting mechanism, which takes the trunk and some of the core off. And then through a series of belts, we de-leaf the cabbage, and then we have an inspection belt where the three inspectors pull a leaf off and clean the cabbage, and then we bulk feed into a trailer. We're trying to create a better working environment for the crew, a more sustainable job. With the new automated harvester, we're not looking to core in the field. We're actually gonna cut whole head and we're bringing that into the plant where we have a decoring machine. And when we eliminate the coring aspect in the field, it's more efficient for us in terms of productivity and also it's easier on the people. The purpose of the machine when we're talking about ergonomics is getting people up off the ground where they're riding on the machine, moving into a selecting, sorting, packing job. We're creating a work deck that they can stand in an ergonomic area that they don't have to bend over with knives. Consistent action multiple thousand times a day. Hand laborers would have issues with their wrists and shoulders and their lower backs as well. It's tough work and it's dangerous. That's what we're trying to do is make the crew's job easier and produce the same volume, if not more. Taylor Farms Food Service Division uses 1.5 million pounds of cabbage per week. Our goal is to have the harvester produce 1 million of those pounds. In the food service industry, we are definitely the only ones in Salinas Valley automating cabbage harvest, and it's really setting us apart from our competitors. It's pretty exciting stuff. Okay, here's our shigaiku. Um, that's another great meal. I'm totally pleased with it because it's crowded out terribly by the cabbages, but yet it's still producing for us. So we're just going to leave it in there and see how much it will produce for us. So, exciting thing today. This cabbage is ready to harvest. So to know if your cabbage is ready to harvest, you just want to give it a squeeze. And if that head feels really firm, then it's time to take it out. Um, I have like nine cabbages in here. I know that I need to be starting to eat them because I can't eat nine cabbages in one week. So what I'm hoping is that they ripen a little bit, um, maybe a few a week. Uh, but this guy is definitely ready to go. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to come down underneath the wrapper leaves. I think we'll go under this one and find the main stalk. Oh, it's got a big stem. Awesome. I could tell by the way these are growing that these are going to be awesome. Okay, look at that beauty right there. That is so nice, so firm, delicious. There's nothing better than fresh cabbage right from your garden. It's, it's like super sweet and crunchy and totally different than what you get at the store. So I encourage you to grow some cabbage just so you can taste the sweetness of what it can produce. Okay, now. We're going to leave this here, and out of the center here, you can see there's some little bumps right here. Those little bumps are going to be new heads of cabbage, and this plant's going to give us a second head. Not right now, but in the future. So we're going to leave this, and we're going to let those little things grow and make another head. Okay, so what else on the cabbage? We're still spraying the BT every week. Uh, for the rest of the season, we want to keep the cabbage loopers off because we want to eat these gorgeous cabbage heads. So spray for beet, spray the BT for the cabbage loopers. Watch for aphids, and they're kind of a medium feeder. They're not quite ready to be fed yet, but eventually we're going to come through here and, and feed these one more time. So, okay, cabbage is done. We're ready to move on.